This is the second video from my GTK series. Previously, we have installed GTK and in this video, we will start with some coding part. By the end of this video, you will be able to compile your GTK code with zero warnings and errors and of course, run it. So let's roll the intro and then get started. All right, please open whatever the text writer you want to use. It doesn't matter where you write it. Either it's a text writer which you get with Ubuntu, whether it's uh, IDE like Sublime Text Writer or if you are the guy who likes terminal text writers like uh, VI or VIM so I basically love Vim text writer so I'm going to use it let's open terminal and uh, allow me to create a GTK tutorial directory in which we will put all our code and after uploading the respective video what i will do i will put that code to my website so that you can refer it whenever you want to so let's create one make directory hyphen p work space and then gtk tutorial all right and after this let's get into it So now I am in my GTK tutorial directory and here I will keep all my GTK code. Let's maximize this and give name to our first GTK code. Let's call it start.c .c because we are using C language. Alright, hit enter and first thing first Let's include GTK. Include GTK forward slash GTK dot H. This is the header file mandatory to include when you're writing GTK code. And since it's a typical C program, write our main function here, int main, and pass the arguments like int arguments count. This is the count part and then this is the vector. All right. And since my main function is returning something, let's write return statement here. All right. So the basic structure for my C code is ready. Now let's initialize our GTK. So this is a function named gtk underscore init which require two arguments from the terminal. So first is argument count and second is argument vector. Then you will write your gtk code here like gtk code comes here and after this at the end you will loop it over using a main function the gtk main function uh, whose name is gtk underscore main this is the typical style of gtk every function name starts with gtk then uh, underscore then whatever the function behavior is so yes this is the very basic structure and the simplest code for gtk that exists <laughs> and uh, now let's save it and try to compile this. To compile our GTK code, let's use this command gcc. This is the compiler we are going to use. Then a backtick and we are including flags and libraries. So for that, just type package hyphen config space hyphen hyphen c flags space gtk plus 
hyphen 3.0 backtick then space then hyphen o now give whatever the name you want to give to your executable we simply keep it same as our program name so i will give it name as start and now give the actual program name which was start.c and again start a backtick give it package hyphen config space hyphen hyphen libs space gdk plus minus 3.0 backtick this is the command you need to write whenever you want to compile your gtk code i know it's a very long command and it's very hard to remember every time so the alternate is to use make files if you don't know how to create make files and use them check the later videos of this series and you will come to know how to use make file but for now this is the first time we are writing gtk so happily type this command and then press enter all right i can see my prompt come back again this mean our program is compiled successfully there is no errors or no warnings here now let's see what we have in our directory now and you can see here this is the start.c this is our code file and this is start this is our executable file so let's execute it by typing dot forward slash start now hit enter and we see nothing this is because we haven't add any gui here but the main purpose of this particular video is to tell you how to write the first gtk code and compile it successfully now to break this loop just press control c and you will see your prompt back again all right there is one more way to write gtk code and this is the way you will see in every documentation which is by using gtk application using gtk application is much better way over initializing and maintaining gtk loop by your own let's exit this and create a new file call it start gtk app.c and hit enter let's first include our gtk header file which is gtk forward slash gtk.h and let's write our main function very quickly integer argument count and char star star argument vector and then return zero all right since we are using gtk application in this example so let's declare our gtk application here G gtk application let's give it a beautiful name app and then start this application as gtk underscore application underscore new this is the typical way to create whatever new in gtk like if you are creating a window it's gtk window new you are creating application it's gtk application new don't forget to use underscore in between all right so this is how i create my gtk application it required two arguments the first is your application id so let me give a beautiful application id in dot educators and yes this is the way you write your application id it must be separated by a dot so let's keep these four points in your mind the first the application id must be greater than 0 and less than 255 characters second two or more elements separated by a period third it must be alphanumeric or it can include underscore or hyphens but not other than that 
the last thing you must keep in your mind that your application id do not start with a numeric character all right it can be alphanumeric but must not start with a numeric character you can add numeric wherever you want in your id the second argument is the flags but for now i will pass flags as none flag this is written as g underscore application underscore flags underscore none and that's how you create your application object the next step is to write a signal connect what the signal connect is this is basically a callback which happen on some particular action the first argument is the app and the second is what the action is happened like uh, when this application is activate the third argument is the callback function let's name this function as activate doesn't matter what its name is you can keep whatever the name but i recommend to keep it very meaningful the last argument which g signal connect expect is the second argument to this callback so for now i will pass null here just for a summary this is the first argument of your activate function callback and this is the second argument of your activate function all right now the third thing is to finally run our gtk application so g underscore apply application underscore run and put semicolon at the end this also require three arguments the first is the application itself and second third is your terminal arguments this is argument correctors and this is argument vector all right and g application run basically return you if it a success or a fail so let receive it in this variable name ret let's declare ret here it should be of integer type ret and instead of returning zero let's return ret so that we can know uh, if the application run is success or a fail at the end just free your app variable by unref your application object the function here used is g underscore object underscore unref and pass your application here all right one last thing left is to define this activate function otherwise we will get an error so let's define this function over our main so that we can skip that prototype declarations okay so let's give it return type void the name is activate and please remember it must be a static function okay now let's give it the parameters gtk application is the first parameter it receive and the second is a g pointer okay and this could be anything so i will name it user data and let's give it braces this is the scope of your activate function and now here you will write whatever the gtk code you want to write okay so gtk code comes here everything looks good but i'm expecting some warnings here let's open a new tab and now let's type that long command again which is gcc backtick package config space hyphen hyphen c flags and write gtk plus minus 3.0 backtick space hyphen o and give the name start gtk app and then again start gtk app dot c and backtick package now include a library config hyphen hyphen libs 
GTK plus minus 3.0 backtick. So all right, this will create start GTK app as executable here. Hit enter and we got quite many things. Okay, we just misspelled the signal. Okay, it should be signal, right? And yes, let's exit this. And yes, these warnings I was expecting. I can solve it in the first place, but I basically want to show you the warnings. That's why I didn't do that. Uh, when we pass our application object to G application run, or whenever we are using it in a callback, we must typecast it so that it will be a smooth compilation. So let's add what I left in the first place, which is, let's start from the signal. First of all, let's typecast this activate function to a G callback. So write G underscore callback and put it into round brackets and uh, second place you need to type cast is your g application run so let's type cast it into a g application g underscore application and put it again into round brackets all right look fine let's clear the screen control l and again type that command use a arrow key to reach the history of your terminal hit enter and yes now you see no warnings no errors everything look fine and if i go lshl i can see start gdk app.c this is my code file and this is start gtk app this is my executable file Again, to run executable, you need dot forward slash and type start gtk app. Okay, I'm using tab because I'm very lazy to type. Now hit enter and this will start your app. But what happened? It's coming back because we haven't wrote anything in here. You remember, I just put a comment here, GTK code comes here. Okay, that's why it's not showing me anything. But this is the scope of this video. We are actually looking to write our first GTK code and run it without any errors or warnings, which we actually achieved. So yes, now let's wrap this video. And in next video, I will show you how to create GTK windows. I hope you enjoy this series of creating GUI applications using C programming language. If you do, give this video a like, share this video and do subscribe to educators. Let's catch you in the next one.